it's high time I said this, but we need to spend money on our brains and not our bodies. At least right now, contrary to popular belief, ignorance is not bliss at all. Actually, you pay for what you don't know. I wish I was not as frugal as I was. And let me explain. You see, I grew up in a household where it was a common understanding that if we don't have it, we're not getting it. Meaning that we did not factor in credit or any of these things. We just either had it or we didn't. And that was it. And that understanding built in this system in my life where whatever I made, I will save half of it regardless of anything and only work with the other half. And as you can probably imagine, that really meant being cheap on various aspects of my life. I mean, like getting groceries from the Dollar Tree, like cheap, washing your car by yourself, kind of cheap, like not going on any form of vacations or buying yourself any form of luxury items kind of cheap. And that really helped me. I'm not going to lie. I remember buying my first two cars cash. And that was not because I was saving towards like the car or anything like that. I just already had been saving half of my income for years. And so when big purchases arose, it was not like I had to start scrambling for money. I already had something. And that worked for me for a long time until life started becoming really painful. And I realized that there is a cap to which you can save, but there is no cap to which you can earn. Leading to this understanding that we need to spend more money on our brains and not our bodies. I've been listening to a bunch of sermons lately, one of which being The Reward Systems of Heaven by Joshua Selman. And one of my key takeaways from that sermon was money follows value and you're getting paid according to how much the market sees you. And if the market or if the world doesn't see you or your skill set as valuable, my brother, you will be broke. So what triggered this video is actually last week, I spent a considerable amount of money on mentorship. And before I ever make big purchases, I always call my brother Deji. I basically have to give a presentation on what I'm getting, why I'm spending the money on it and how valuable it could be to my life. The main question that we're trying to decipher is this, is the amount of money you're about to spend going to make you more in the future or save you from mistakes that will cost you the equivalent or even more in the future? Cause listen, Ignorance is not bliss. You actually pay for what you don't know. And as someone who is getting older, I'm starting to value time more. And I'd rather pay for someone to fast track my growth than have to learn it the hard way. I was talking to a friend yesterday and one of the underlying problems of our generation as guys is we lack mentorship and things that we are learning, they're costing us more because we're not standing on the shoulders of giants. That means like people who have done this and made the mistakes already. A foolish man learns from his mistakes. A wise man learns from other people's mistakes, meaning that instead of trying to buy books and all of these things, it would be more important to actually find who can teach you these things and answer a lot of the questions that you're going to encounter on whatever mission you're embarking on. My theory or my advice for young men is you should spend your excess cash on mentorship, courses, and anything that's going to sharpen your axe and make you more valuable to society because it takes years to be good at something. And remember, the product of work is you. You need to be the solution to someone's problem for them to pay you well. Joshua Selman said this, it did not take years for Pharaoh to decorate Joseph, but it did take years for Joseph to refine his skills to become the solution to Pharaoh's problem. Think about that. This might sound really hard, but you need to stop spending money on stupid stuff like Hermes, Gucci and any form of designer product when you have not spent the equivalent or even more on your mind. You need to work to make sure that your kids don't have a hard life because of your negligence. Ignorance is not bliss. You might not be the only one paying for it. Your generation might also pay for it. Get up, man. The world needs you. Creation needs you.